Hello and welcome to Craft with Sarah. This is another video on my series of how you can customise the layered SVGs from my shop to make something truly special for your craft projects. If you'd like to get any of the SVGs featured in this video or choose from over 130 dogs and 20 cats with more added most months, check out shop.craftwithsarah.com. I often get asked from my customers how you can add these angel wings when they're making a remembrance frame for a pet that has sadly passed away. In this video, I'm gonna show you two different ways to do it. The first is the example that you can see here, and this is my Toller Retriever design. And I've added two little angel wings, one at the front and the back. And this is for the dog designs or the cat designs where you've got the body kind of coming outwards so you can see most of it. In the second half of this video, I'll show you how you can do designs more like the dog de Bordeaux in the frame. For this dog, he's facing you a lot more than this one. So I've put the angel wing one on each side and I've also chosen a more traditional and sort of larger and more embellished wing design for that one. So let's jump over to design space and see how to add the angel wing. I've opened up Design Space and uploaded the two dogs that I'm going to use for this tutorial. The one on the left is the Toller Retriever, also known as the Nova Scotia Duck Tolling Retriever. And the one on the right is the Dog de Bordeaux. The links to find both of these SVG files are in the description of the video. And I've also put a link in there for how to upload the files into Design Space once you've purchased them. So if you're new to layered designs and you're not sure how to do that, Go ahead and watch that other video first and that will show you how to get the designs into Design Space. I've also chosen two angel wing designs from Cricut Access. And again, I'll put the ID numbers of those images in the description of this video so that you can use the same ones if you want to. But if not, any angel wing SVG or image from Cricut Design Space should be fine as long as it's only one color and only one layer. I'm going to do the Toller first, so for now I'm just going to click on the Dog de Bordeaux and hide it by clicking the eye icon in the layers panel. Okay, so I'm going to do it first with these cute little wings. So I've kind of chosen two different styles. This one is more of a simple, cute, cartoony style of wing, which I think matches the um, kind of the Toller Retriever in particular quite well because it's got quite a cute face on it. But if you wanted the more traditional angel style wings, then I'll also show you how to do it with these ones. First though, we'll do the cute little wings. The first thing we need to do is get rid of the halo. So I'm going to click into the image and then press the contour button down the bottom right of the screen. This brings up a little pop up so I can click into both of those ovals and you see now they've gone a light gray, which means they'll be hidden. So when I hit X, the halo is gone. I also need to split these into two separate wings. At the moment, you can see it's just one layer, but I want the left and right wings to be separate. The quickest way to do that is to go into shapes and choose a square. Drag it over the wings and then make it so that it completely covers one of the wings but it doesn't touch the one that you've still got on show. Select both the layers by clicking the square in the layers panel, then press shift or control on your keyboard and choose the angel wings. Down the bottom of the layers panel, press slice, and that's gonna cut those apart. So now if I drag this, you can see we actually have four layers. We don't need the square, and we don't need the gray wing that's been cut out, and now these wings, which is our original layer, is now two separate layers, one for each of the wings. Now we can position this over the dog where we want it to go and check that we're happy with the size. If you wanted to change the size, it's important to change both of the wings together so that they remain the same. So I'm gonna drag a box around both of them to select both the layers. Or you can do what we did with the square and choose one in the layers panel, press shift or control on your keyboard and choose the other one. And I'm going to make them a little bit smaller. So by resizing them together, it means they stay in proportion with each other. So I 
think that one probably about there. And then I'm not sure if I'm going to add another one in behind it or not, or if I'll just be happy with one of these cute little wings. If we were to cut this out now, it's going to have all the gaps in it, which we don't want. So we need to add another layer to go underneath, which will fill in the wings with white. So click the layer and then press duplicate on the top of the screen. And that's made a copy. I'm going to make this copy the same white as the white on the dog. And then I need to hide all of the little gaps. So go to contour again and choose hide all contours and then close out of the window. Now we have a solid layer, but it's appearing on top of our detail one at the moment. So click the detailed one and go into arrange and then center front. And now that will be on top. We want to perfectly align these layers. So I'm gonna drag a box around them and then go into align center. And now they're perfectly one on top of the other. So I'm gonna group them by pressing group on the top. And now I can move them together. I don't actually want the top layer of my angel wings to be black. I'm probably gonna cut it out of silver so it's got a bit of sparkle. So I've just changed it to a light gray. And now I can get this into position where I want it to go. We're only using this as a guide at the moment because it's gonna cut out separate to the dog. So we'll just stick it on the top afterwards. Now for this particular design, I think it would work quite well stuck onto the dog with the foam pads and you're not gonna get the top bit kind of um, flopping down underneath the layers. So one problem you might have, if for example, our wings are all the way up here, when we were sticking it together, we'd have to put a little bit of glue or foam pads on the wing to stick it to the body. But because there's nothing stable behind the top bit of the wing, it's probably going to um, fall backwards. So it will touch the base of the shadow box or wherever it is that you're putting your dog. So it's not going to look consistent. It will just look a bit sort of floppy and unfinished. A way to fix that is to create some little circles of card which will stick onto the backing of the frame or the shadow box that you're gonna make that will layer up this top part of the wing so that it's the same height as the rest of the wing that's sitting on top of the dog. If that doesn't make a lot of sense, don't worry. When I start sticking it together, you'll see what I mean. So I'm just gonna put that back there for now and show you what I mean. So let's go into shapes and choose a circle. And you wanna make it small so that it will fit in behind the wing and you won't see any of the circles. So this is gonna sit underneath that wing and then I'm gonna put a little foam pad on it and then I'll need another one. So right click and duplicate. And I'm gonna cut a few of these just from scrap card. It doesn't have to be anything pretty because we're not gonna see it, remember? And then I can stick these together with the 3D foam pads to give them the depth. And then I'll stick it behind this top of the wing so that the wing is perfectly level. It will line up with the rest of the dog. Again, that'll make more sense a little bit later. I think I'm happy with this wing about here. But you might want to also put a wing up the other side. So that's why we've got this one. So this would sit sort of behind the dog. So we need to go into a range and center back. And this would just kind of be a wing from the other side of the body coming out. You might want to flip it to get a different direction to make it match that front one. And I'm just trying to position this. There we go. And then of course we'll need to duplicate it again so that we've got the solid layer. So let's just bring it over here so we can see. Duplicate. And just like we did before, go into contour and press hide all contours. I'll make this the color of the other one. And then this one, I need to bring it to the front and change it to my silver color. 
So I'm just doing exactly the same as what I did before with the other wing. Okay, so now that I've moved this about, it's come to the front again. So let's go arrange, center back, and then use your arrow keys to put it where you want it to go. I think that probably looks okay there. Now one problem you're going to have if you do this is if you just stick these wings together and if you want to raise them up from your background with foam pads, it means the rest of the body isn't going to be level. So what we need to do is do a little bit of extra work on the bottom layer of the dog to join it to these bottom angel wings. This is again optional. You don't have to put in this second wing if you don't want it. You could just have the first one. I think it might need to be a little bit more rotated. There we go. All right, so I'm going to click on my dog group and then press ungroup to separate out all the layers. I then want to scroll all the way to the bottom and find the bottom layer. Press duplicate. And this is the outline of the dog all filled in. So I need to change this to the white color of the wing. Now I'm going to move these circles out the way and then drag a box around my dog and the angel wings but don't cover your new layer, just the ones that were already there, and then press group. We now need to put this underneath so it perfectly lines up. So select the layer of the new dog, press shift and choose your group, and then go into align. The type of alignment you do will depend a bit on the exact dog or cat layered SVG that you're using, and also how you've positioned the angel wings. So we can't just go and align it in the center because we've made our dog on the left taller with these angel wings. But what we can do to line it up is align them left and then align them to the bottom. So that's lined that new white layer up with the left of the tail and the bottom of the feet. So it's now perfectly in position. So now we can click the dog group again and press ungroup. And this might be a little bit hard to see what I'm doing. So uh, I'm gonna go through, you don't have to do this bit, but I'm just gonna hide all of the layers of the dog that aren't what we're about to use. So I'm just clicking the eye icon next to all of the dog layers. And now I'm just left with my angel wings. So I also want to hide those top angel wings. And now we've just got the bottom. I'm going to click my angel wings and these are a group at the moment with the top and bottom layer of the wing. So let's ungroup them and then hide the decorations. Now all we've got left is the angel wing of the back of the angels and the dog. So I'm going to click one in the layers panel, press shift or control and choose the other one. And then down the bottom, press weld. And that will join them together. So this is now one whole layer. This will move it to the top of the layers panel. So we need to drag it back down again so that it's underneath all the other layers of the dog. So all the way down underneath there and then we can start turning the layers back on. Now, because I'm gonna glue this decoration layer, I don't need to join it to the whole dog because it's not actually gonna create any depth that would be a problem. If you were gonna use foam pads for the top layer of the wings, then you would need to repeat those steps to get another outline of the dog, make it your silver color and weld those two layers together. But for just glue, it's fine to leave it like that. And then we can turn on these other layers again. This is also quite nice to see how we're going to be building the dog up to get its lovely little appearance with all the different colors. Just the eyes and then his little tongue. And then the top angel wings. All right, so this would now be ready to cut out. So I'm going to drag a box around everything one more time and then group 
so that I can resize it to however big I want it to go in my shadow box. Let's say for example 7.5. If you are going to make it smaller you need to make sure that your circles will still fit and if you can't see them go into arrange center front and just double check they're still going to fit underneath your wing. You'll see why they're important once we stick it together. Okay, so that was how to add the angel wings to a dog which is looking with its side. So we're putting them on the side of the dog. And just to remind you one more time, you don't have to put those back wings in. You could just have the front one if you wanted to. But I wanted to show you both ways so that you know how to do it. I'm going to hide this layer now and bring in the dog to Bordeaux again. Um, I'm also, I'm just going to group it together with these circles so I can hide them all. All right, so some of my designs, they are kind of sat front forward. And in that case, you might decide that you want a wing coming out on each side, something like this. And I think this looks nicer with the more realistic, detailed angel wings, having this kind of... Um, wings coming out on each side. So this is actually a little bit easier than the first way. You'll probably find that you don't need to separate the wings out because they look fine just as they are, as this one does. So all we need to do is click on our angel wings and duplicate them. Change the color to a white. And then go into contour and press hide all contours. And that's going to fill them in. Oh, it didn't. Very strange. I think it's because they're separate. Okay, let's undo that and try again. So instead, I will just click all of these to fill them in. This is very strange. It doesn't appear to be contouring how I was expecting. Okay, so I can see what the problem is. If I zoom in, you can see, well, you might be able to see, there is a tiny gap in these angel wings between these two feathers. And that is why I can't contour out this space because of that gap. So contour only works if you've got a solid shape to fill in. So let's fix this. I'm going to delete this layer and start with this one again. Uh, where's it gone? I think to make things easier, I will separate them into two layers. So let's go to shapes, choose a square and make one of them cover up that right wing. Select both the layers and slice them. So this is just what we did earlier in the video. And now I have them separated. Let's make that one black as well. All right, so let's choose this one and I need to fill in that gap. So we'll zoom in. It's hard to see with it in black. So let's change it to blue or any bright color really. And here's our little problem area. So let's choose a circle, make it really small, position it over the gap in the wing. So there you go. And then select both of those layers and press weld. And that will join them together and close up that gap. So now if we zoom out and duplicate it we should be able to go into contour, press hide all contours and fill everything in. Perfect. Now to avoid having to do that with the other wing, I'm going to just delete that one for now. Make these the color I want. So I'll go for silver on the top layer and a white underneath. Select both of these layers and go align center. I need to put the white one on the bottom. So let's click it and go arrange 
uh, move backwards. All right, now I can drag a box around these two layers and press group, move it to one side, press duplicate. So now I've got a copy and then go flip, flip horizontal. And now I've got my two angel wings in the two separate layers. It is a bit hard to see because I've used pure white. If I just change that white one to an off gray, you can see what I've done a little bit better. All right, so that was a little bit of a detour around, <laughs> but now they're ready to add behind the dog. So I think I'm going to select both of those groups and go align, align top to make sure the wings are symmetrical. And then I need to go arrange center back to move them behind the dog. And now I can just have a play about with the positioning until I'm happy where it all is. And I quite like that. Now a problem we'll have if we just hide the dog is these wings are separate at the moment. And it means that it's gonna be quite hard to put them in the right position and it won't be connected to the rest of the dog. This is the same problem we had when we were doing the back wing of the toddler retriever. So to fix this, let's turn the dog back on and click on it and then go to ungroup. Scroll down the list of the layers until you find the very bottom body one and press duplicate to make a copy. I'm going to make this the same color as the bottom of the wings and get it into position. Now for this one, it's going to be quite hard to use the align tool to get this perfectly in position because we've extended the left and the right side of the dog with the wings. So what I'm going to do is um, hide it for now and hide my angel wings. Drag a box around all of these dog layers to um, group them again. Now I'm going to turn on that white one. Go into select all because that's everything on my screen. And then align center. Just to show you if I move that above, it's perfectly in position now. So now I can turn my wings back on, select the dog layer, which is just the white layer and the group. So make sure you've got both of them. And just drag them back into where you want them to go. So now we can hide the dog, click on both of the angel wings and ungroup them. Then choose the white dog layer, press control or shift on the keyboard and choose the two bottom wing layers and press weld. And that's now joined them together. So if we click and go arrange center back, we've now got this as the very bottom layer. And just like with the other dogs, if you're going to be sticking the wings on with glue, you don't have to do anything else at this point. But because they're quite thin and narrow, it might be easier if we get the shape of the dog joined as well. So let's do that whole thing again. Not that one, that one. And this will also help if I went through it a little bit quickly last time. So I'm going to click the dog, ungroup it, find my bottom layer and duplicate. This time I want it to be the darker color, the darker gray. And then I'm going to hide my angel wings. Where are they? All three of those. Let's hide them. And hide that one. Drag a box around the dog and group the layers together. Turn that one back on. Select all, align, center. Turn the wings back on, they're down here somewhere. Then get these into position. This time I'm going to have to just do it by eye, but that's okay. You can still be pretty accurate in design space. And then I will select my gray dog layer, the gray wings, and then weld them together. Okay, so now I can move that to the back. Oops, I missed the button. <laughs> and then put it one above. There we go. Drag a box around everything and group it. 
And now this is ready to resize it so that it's ready for me to cut out. So now we've got our two different dogs with the different styles of angel wings. There's the first one. And here is the second one. Now we don't need to add these little circles to the dog de Bordeaux because the wings are behind the rest of the body layers. They're not on top of it. Remember, we only need these for this top wing, which is sitting on top of the body. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut all of this out and then show you how to stick the layers together. If you're not sure how to cut out the layer designs, I have another video which goes through that in more detail. Check the link in the description of this video to find the link to that other one. So here are my two dogs cut out with their angel wings and I'm gonna show you how to stick them together with the wings. Now I have cheated a little bit already and stuck the dogs together, so it's just the wings left that we need to do. If you're not sure how to stick the dogs together, then check out the link in the description to my other video where I go through how to do that and you can see me stick every single layer together. One thing I do include with all of my layered SVGs is an assembly guide which shows you which order to stick the layers together in and whether you should use glue or foam pads for each individual layer. These do come big enough to print out A4 or US letter size but I've just made them a little bit smaller because my printer's running out of ink so I um, wanted to make sure that I had enough to print them. These guides are really helpful especially when the designs have so many layers on them. You can see how thick this dog is. There's just so many layers, especially in the face, to get this lovely little expression. So having the PDFs will really help to see which order and which layer to stick everything together in. All right, so I'm going to start with the Dog de Bordeaux because this one will be easier to stick together. So I've got my two layers here. This wing is really narrow, this silver one, so I'm just going to be a bit careful. And for some reason, my Cricut mats, or my cutting mats, they're actually not the Cricut brand, which I think is where I'm going wrong. Um, it's leaving sticky residue when I cut. <laughs> Things are sticking together when they're not supposed to be. But anyway, so this is going to be the very bottom layer with the angel wings, and then I'm going to stick this layer on top. I'm going to use glue for this, just because these wings are so narrow and flimsy. The glue I use for all of my cardstock projects is called Kalal. It's a really, really good glue. It is solvent based, so it's a little bit stinky, so do it in a ventilated area. But it doesn't warp or bend cardstock, so unlike some other glues that can kind of cause little bubbles or ridges in the card, this doesn't do that, so it's brilliant. And what I do is I put it into this tiny little needle tip bottle which means I can go into something even as narrow as this wing with precision to make sure I can get the glue in where I need it to go. This is all available on Amazon, so check the link in the description um, to find out more. I think it's a UK glue, so um, if you are in the USA, then other glues which are similar are Art Glitter Glue. It doesn't actually have glitter in it, it's just the name, or Barely Art Glue, so those are some alternatives. All right, so I've turned my silver layer upside down and I'm just going to add some glue. Okay, I'm just going to whiz around the outside of the dog to start with. And this is why it was really helpful to join these wings to the dog because it gives us something really solid that we can use to stick with. And then with my tiny little needle tip, I'm going to go in to the wings. I'm not adding glue on every single piece, but enough that it's gonna stick nicely to the layer below and it's not gonna be at risk of being pulled off by mistake. I'm doing this a bit quicker and uh, a bit more careless than I normally would if I was sort of not on camera because I don't want you to end up just watching me put glue on something for ages it wouldn't be very interesting for you. So I'm being a bit messier than I normally would. So please bear with me just a moment. There we go, and just a little bit in the middle. And this is why I love these little bottles, because you can be so precise. 
Okay, so now I can bring that back in, turn this over, and then glue it into position. And because it is glue, it means you've got that little bit of wiggle room. You need to move it about. Making sure my wings are lined up and gently pressing down to get all those little pieces to stick. There we go. Okay, so now I can add the rest of the dog. If you were doing this layer by layer and you hadn't already stuck the dog together, then you just need to take the bottom layer of the dog, which is the one filled in. If you're looking at the assembly guide, it's the one marked with the one. And then turn it upside down and add some foam pads on the back. The foam pads I'm using are from a brand called Dot Dab. I really like this brand because the tops peel off really easily so it's quick to use. But there are loads of different brands of foam pad out there, so whatever ones you've got is absolutely fine. These ones are quite big, so I cut them in half to make them go a little bit further. Just realised I don't have a pair of scissors in my little recording room, so I'm just going to pause, go and grab some, and then come back. I've got my scissors, so now I can just cut straight down. They cut really easily. And then I've got some to go on here. If you wanted to, you could just glue this layer instead of using the foam pads, but I quite want that extra little bit of dimension. I'm working on another tutorial at the moment with this same dog image with the angel wings, which is going to be how to make a memory box using my pet files with the angel wings. So it will have this dog on it, and then I'm going to show you how to cut photos together to go around it and then add some vinyl on the frame as well so keep an eye out for that it'll be out in the next few days okay so now I've taken all those sticky bits off I'm just gonna line this up it is more difficult because I've already put all the layers together there we are okay so now there is the finished dog with the angel wing on each side and that's all we need to do for this one. He is now ready. So I can move on to the Toller Retriever. And this one's going to take a few extra steps. And I'll show you why we made those little circles in Design Space. So let's start with the base here. I've got the bottom layer of the angel wing. And then this one I've cut in silver. I'm just going to stick it on with some glue. Get my back and add some glue in here. I really need to get one of those silicone mats that you put down on your craft table to stop glue sticking to it. I don't know if you can see on the video, but my craft mat here is absolutely covered in bits of glue. Okay, stick this on. Yeah. And now I need to stick the dog on top. So this time, because I know the dog is going to completely cover all of that white, I'm going to add the foam pads onto the white rather than putting them on the back of here. And that's because I don't want to add any of the foam where I've got the silver angel wing. I cut the silver from quite a thick card, so if I was to put the foam on the silver, it's going to raise it up from the other bits of foam that aren't on that silver card, which means that my dog would then be uneven on top, which I don't want. I want it to be nice and flat. So I'm putting the foam in all the other places, but not on top of any of that silver. Peel the top off the foam pads to get them all sticky. And if you decided to only have the top wing, then you won't have to worry about doing any of these steps. 
Okay, so now I can line this up. And that's my dog done. So now we can do the top wing. And first things first, let's glue the silver layer onto the white one. Just put some glue into these little pieces. The lines on this one are thicker than the uh, first ones we did, so it's a little bit easier. Put the lid back on my glue. And just start. Right, so now I can show you why we cut out those circles. So it depends a bit on the type of wing you've cut. This one is quite small in comparison to the body. So I don't think it's going to be as much of an effect to show you as if I'd have used these wings on this dog. So if I was sticking the wing up here, I'd put my foam pads underneath. And then when it's all let go, you might find, especially if you use thinner card, that the top of the wing is going to fall back onto whatever it is that you're sticking the dog to. So if I put it here, you might be able to see a bit better. So if I let go, just look at that top of the wing. You see it sort of falls down and that means it's not looking flat across and it just doesn't look as good. It doesn't look as professional or as finished. So that's why we've got these little circles. We're gonna use these to build up a little platform to go behind the top of the wing so that it will sit perfect flat. And that also makes sure you've got a lovely dimension between the front and the back wings. So how do we do it? Well, let's take one of the little th uh, circles as our base, and then I'm gonna cut a tiny bit of foam and stick it onto that circle. You want to make sure the foam pad fits in the circle and doesn't go outside of it anywhere. And now I'm gonna stick another circle on top. So now this is going to um, raise it up a little bit if we were to stick it underneath the wing, but it's still not quite enough. So we want to match the height of this to the height of the layer that we're sticking the wing onto. In my case, for this particular dog, that means I need two lots of foam pads on my little circles because I've got the first one underneath the first layer of orange, which is making up this back leg. And then the second layer of foam is what's making the body. If I tilt it, I'm not sure you can really see, but I've got two foam pads in the main body area, which is what's giving that 3D effect. In fact, I will also probably need one. Just wondering if I need one for the wing as well, but no, I think that's the first one that I was on about. Okay. So I'm gonna need one more foam pad on here. Yours might be a bit different. It depends on the dog that you're doing because some of them have more layers than others, but you're matching it to where the body is. So now with that foam pad, the height is going to be the same. So I can take my angel wing and then stick this on the edge, so the part that is going to not be attached to the body. And now I've made that little mount. So when I put it on there, if I glue it, then it will be perfectly flat. If you want to add foam, then obviously you're adding another layer of foam. So you just need to put one more circle on. And I'm actually gonna do that. So one more circle in there. And then I can add some foam. I'm gonna add a whole bit on that side. And stick that to the dog. Think about there. So now this part of the wing is three foam pads up from the bottom. And also this tip of the wing is also three foam pads up because of our little 
dot. So that's why we did that. It's to make it all nice, flat and looking much more professional. And I don't actually need that little one, so that can just be put to one side. Okay, so that was a little bit more time consuming, but I hope you can see why we've done it. It really does lead to a better effect. And here are our two dogs with the angel wings all finished. I hope that you found this tutorial helpful on how to add angel wings to my layered dog and cat SVGs to make memory frames. As I said, all of these designs are available at shop.craftwithsarah.com. If you're wondering how to make the memory box frames like I have here with the photographs at the bottom and the name on the frame, then subscribe to my YouTube channel as in a few days time I'll be releasing a new video on how I made this in Cricut Design Space and then how I cut it out and stuck it all together. Thank you for watching. Bye.